Hello everybody and welcome back to Banger Gaming for the next part of my Road to Glory career campaign with Steamish Football Club. Uh, today I bring you part nine uh, where we are facing Carlisle on the road uh, in the uh, Carabao Cup. But the first most annoying thing that I've seen here is that Elliot List is out with a broken toe for three months. That's really frustrating. Um, and it now means that, yeah, we're, we're a player down. He he is one of our key players. He's one of those sort of electric players that you don't get in League 2 with that pace. Um, and we're going to have to essentially put him in the reserves for three months whilst he recovers from a silly broken toe. Uh, but it is what it is. We've got David Amu to bring in um, up front in his place. And I'm going to put Reed on the bench in his place as well. Um, I think it's actually the Papa John's trophy uh, we've got here. To be honest with you, I don't care about this trophy. Um, I'm going to go to the press conference uh, and just tick all the boxes. Uh, I'm going to put out sort of a B team. Um, it will be good to win. I guess if we win, we can come up against some, some of the stronger teams um, because unlike in real life, they'll put out a normal team on this game. It'll be good to play against some, some good players. But um, if we get knocked out uh, here by Carlisle, I'm I'm really not bothered. It doesn't link to one of our career goals. Um, it's not something that I'm particularly bothered about. And if, if anything, actually, it's just knackering our players out midweek when we, we don't need that. We're focusing on the league. Um, so I, I'm going to literally change as many players as I possibly can. Um, I'm going to change both strikers. Obviously, Elliot List can't come on because he's injured. I'm going to change the goalkeeper. I'm going to change the centre midfield. Uh, and I'm going to change the defence. I'll bring on Michael Bostwick and I'll give Kane Smith a go at right back instead of Wilding as well. Um, but that's it, really. I think we're going to get straight into the game here uh, and see what this has to bring. They know what's needed. A win in this game and a favourable result elsewhere will lift them into the knockout stages here on EA TV. Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we have group stage action from the Cup coming up for you. It's Carlisle United and they take on Stevenage. Well, they're in a great position at the moment, Derek. No wonder these travelling fans are making so much noise. Another good performance here and they should go through. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, on paper, it looks a fairly cautious approach because unless their wing-backs can get into more advanced areas, I'm not sure where the attacking width will come from. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, it's like for like here, so whichever team wins more of the key battles will probably come out on top. I think this should be a tight game. So here we go, a very miserable day in Carlisle, it and seems. They the um, they, the, 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 the two sort of things that I really noticed in that build-up there is, first of all, um, how loud the fans were. The um, I know that may sound strange, but it seems like the, the, well, the, the, the home fans are really up for this one. one. Um, but second Why of all, the kick clash um, maybe is something I should have checked before there. I jumped into the game. Could have done with being in the red shirt rather than the, the purple one, because there's a bit of a clash here. But... It is what it is. We're in the game now. We, we've got to sort of crack on with this. Um, as I said, we're just going to play our game, see see if we can get through, I guess. Because, um, like I said, it, it will be good to come up against maybe even a, a stronger side uh, in the next round if we do. 
Um, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work because the Papa John's trophy is, is a bit of a funny one. And as you can see there in the top left corner, we've got some strange uh, team. <laughs> in in the group, um, I'm not sure what's going on there. But in real life, you normally play. We normally get you know Tottenham under 21s and, and all sorts of strange teams. Um, they're obviously not going to be on this. Uh, so the commentator keeps saying that if we win this, we're through. I'm not sure how real that is. I'm, I'm not sure what happens if we draw. I don't know if we go to a penalty shootout if there's extra time. Um, so hopefully we just we just get the win. We can go through. Or, to be honest with you, I'd, I'd rather lose than go to extra time and knock out the players even more. We haven't got a huge amount of depth, and with Elliot List being out of the team now, um, we're struggling even more with that. So, um, yeah, we, we are where we are. We're just going to have to play these games. And like I said, if we get knocked out, we get knocked out. It's been a pretty balanced game so far. Nothing at all has happened, really. Um, there's not been really any real chances at either side. The game's being played between the two boxes. Um, it's a bit of a hostile game at the moment. We're defending really well. Um, and to be honest with you, they're, they're defending really well as well. Um, but we may get an opportunity at some point that it looks like they've got an opportunity now. Um, Chapman steps up there and saves the game, which is good. They do have a corner though, uh, which we're gonna have to face. We defend it quite well. Chapman uh, claims the ball there. We're going to play it out and try and have a little bit of a run with one of the wing backs. We've got Saxon early here um, that's flying down the wing. It looks like he's, he's going to be given a little bit of space here, which is always nice to see. He's going to run into that. We're going to play it back to Roberts. Roberts actually leaves it. Gilby picks it up and smashes it home and puts us 1-0 in the lead. Um, I'm not sure whether we deserve that or not. It's been a pretty balanced game so far. Neither team really deserved to go in the lead. Um, I definitely uh, liked that run from, from early, but I did seem to play this back to Roberts. However, the pass wasn't good enough for Roberts. Unfortunately, uh, Gilby was there to collect and he blasted it home top bin. So happy days in that sense. Really good to see that. Carlisle fans won't be too happy. But we're going to skip uh, to pretty much half time here because nothing, literally nothing else has happened. They've come at us, we've tackled them, we've gone at them, they've tackled us. It's, it's been a, a pretty dire game to be honest with you. We're going to have a little bit of an opportunity here to go on the break uh, with Michael Bostwick of all people. Uh, but we close down and we head into half time. 1 0 in the lead, we will take that. I'm happy with 1 0 uh, going into half time. I'll be happy if it stays like this. If we could just sort of skip to the end and leave it as it was I'll take that uh, rather than playing half. the rest of this game um, but we we go in in front there's a lot of good and positive things to talk about we've defended incredibly well we've not really given them a sniff at goal um, and Gilby's goal was, was a real banger so happy days um, and, and we're going to progress into the second half now so they get us going in the second half. As you know, I always get a bit of anxiety when the other team gets kickoff because they seem to turn into Brazil for, for the, that short moment of time. But we do close them down straight away. And we look to be pressing uh, already on goal. Um, Reed is having an absolutely outstanding shot there. The keeper's done really well to save it. We're going to play it out to the box here. And we're going to go for a blast. And it does look like... It looked to me like the defender sort of defended that, but um, clearly not because we didn't get the corner. We're going to bring on our impact sub, David Amu. We're going to let Reed stay out there um, because there's no point in bringing on uh, Norris or Rose. We're going to bring on Reed um, and we're going to bring on Clark just for a fresh pair of legs. We get less subs in these competitions, which makes no sense. Um, but again, we, we just go with that and, and see what happens. But we're going to bring on some subs. David Amu picks up the ball in the edge of the area immediately and has a little blast at goal. He's already causing them problems in the box. Um, he really is an impact sub. So he's, uh, he's, he's not a particularly great player in real life. We've just actually uh, got rid of him at Stevenage. And uh, let, uh, let him go to Crawley, I think, uh, or wherever he's gone. A crew, maybe. Um, but he seems to have a real impact when he comes on here. Um, that was an incredible pass from their defence. Uh, and we've defended it really, really well. There's a little bit of space as we push forward here. It looks to me like uh, Reed is through on goal. We're trying to push forward. Uh, and he's just 
Reed just doesn't quite have the ability that the, the players like Norris, Rose, and Reed, uh, and Mu have, which is which is a, a shame actually, because in real life he's uh, he's far better. But um, it, the, the ball just never seems to fall to him in the right way for us to have an impact and for him to score a goal. Um, but we are defending incredibly well. It seems to be like when Campbell plays, there's a real impact um, that he has in the middle there. We're going to try and find the moon because he makes a wonderful run through. He's still available. We're going to have a shot with him. And uh, annoyingly, the keeper makes a, a fantastic save there. Does he? No, he doesn't. He leaves it. Uh, and we give them a goal kick. Basically allowing them to have an opportunity to come back at us here. We're going to win the ball, Michael Boswick. Unfortunately, it goes backwards and they collect it. They are through a goal. They hit the bar. God, that was incredibly lucky. Uh, a real shambles from us at the back there. We really let them in. It looks like, to me, Reed's through a goal here. He's going to push forwards. Um, I'm not sure that was offside. Let's have a look at this. Oh, God, I'm not sure about that. But anyway, it's given offside and they're going to have a free kick and they're going to have another opportunity to come at us here. Really annoying, actually. I'm not sure that, that should have been given offside. A uh, guy collects the ball in the middle. He pushes forwards. Oh, that's a fantastic ball. Chapman's had an absolute mare. And to be honest with you, it's a, it's a shambolic five minutes from us there. Poor defending. An excellent run through. Officials got it all wrong, in my opinion. Gives them a free kick. We've given them some space. Michael Boswick's dived in. And Cha Chapman just sort of evidences to us how much we need a youth goalkeeper to come through because we can't we can't keep going on with that 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 needs to be sorted out we get a great opportunity there with Van Kooten of all people if only it could have been one of our strikers and he shows us why he's not a striker and pings it wide it does look like this game is going to sort of come to its natural conclusion here um, at one all they nearly play it out we're going to try and box him in here and push it and maybe try and get a late winner um, because I've got in mind that we might need to go to extra time or penalties here, which I just, to be honest with you, can't be bothered with with this cup. If it was the FA Cup, I'd be over the moon, um, and I'd love a bit of extra time and penalties. But in the Papa John's Trophy, the last thing I want to do is spend more time in this game uh, knackering out our players. David and Mounini nicks it for us there. He's uh, He's been everywhere since he's been on. He's been a real impact since uh, since we've subbed him in. We're going to play it short. We're going to try and nick it at the last minute. But actually what we do is give them an opportunity to counter on us. Um, I'm hoping to sort of box them in here. We do. Gilby wins the ball up front. Finds Reed. Reed has an opportunity to be a hero. He doesn't take it. And Campbell blasts it wide. And that concludes our game. At least both sides it looks to me like that's it. Spirit. We're going to end it there at 1-0. I don't know what that means for the cup. Um, I don't know if that means we go through or if we don't go through. Um, but I guess time will tell uh, as to whether we get through to the next round or not. Not particularly bothered either way, to be honest with you. It gives us more of an opportunity to focus on what actually matters, like uh, the league, which we're doing particularly well in. I hope you enjoyed the session, uh, the, this, the, this episode. Um, I hope you, uh, you're you enjoying the series so far. As I always say, please do hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button and let me know how you're finding it. Drop a comment if you've got any recommendations for, for changes, some subs or even a late transfer. Deadline day is coming up next. Um, we've got an issue with Elliot List coming out and actually we're going to get some youth development coming up in the next episode as well. So a big one for us next round round. But I hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope you're enjoying the series so far. This gives us an opportunity now to focus on the uh, league uh, and I'll catch up with you soon. Thank you.